did I make the right choice 20 years ago when I decided to choose this door instead of that? Should I have been a carpenter? Should I, you know, should I be working in a deli? Uh, this is the confidence thing. It's like, did I make the right choice? There was a month where I think I had that in doubt. We had all these songs, and it's like, fuck, these songs kind of rip, but I'm a little paranoid. Is everybody lying to me and like pretending like they like it? That bus knocked the confidence right out of me. There was this thing that happened when we got off tour where I just felt like, oh, and now I'm in an alien world that's not being on stage and living in a bus and, and just constantly moving around the world like really fast, really fast. You know, just, be, just go going at like a million miles an hour all the time, on 10, every moment of my life. And you stop that and you've got you've to deal with reality and the, the way that things actually are. And my confidence just kind of drained out of me. And it was, a, it was, it was like heartbreaking because I thought this was the real injury from the bus accident. The subjects and the moods were, were overwhelming to me. Overwhelming in a way that was like, it was difficult to deal with when the dust had settled and everybody had left. And I was just here trying to make sense of what, what we had done. Like the verge of some sort of watershed. You know, it's like a birthing pain or something. Like you, you know something great is gonna come from this. And it just, sometimes it just takes so much out of you to get something that feels honest. You know, I had this fucking picture when I was a kid and we started Baroness that at some point things would get easier. Maybe when they got easier, maybe we just, the band would like fold up or something or, you know, who knows? You know, because they say you just can't, or I think, you just can't really get to the heart of the matter without tapping into something that's difficult. It doesn't get particularly easier. You'd like to think that it does. You'd like to think that, well, at some point I'll be better. And then two, three years down the line, you're left with the same basic pain. You know, and I'm talking physical pain now. Like, just, this hurts. I can't do everything that I wanted, was capable of doing before. You know, according to the doctors, I may never be able to do that. Okay, that's fine. Now what? To have the wind knocked out of me in that way was was really, really tough because I felt like I could work all day and I could maybe, you know, actually come up with something that was, that was good. We could, we could write a song. But I sort of had this, like, shadow of a feeling that I'm just spinning my wheels. I know these songs are good, like, at my core, in my heart. Like, I know what we're doing is kind of, like, it's, it's good. It's good for us, you know? Felt this new kind of nervousness, which is, do these guys like what I'm doing? Like, am I reading them wrong? <laughs> When the four of us just let ourselves make something, it was sort of startling, you know, sometimes how either awesome or sad or bittersweet or melancholy or aggressive that it was. And there was a moment where the four of us were down here, we were just ripping away at our song, just going for it. And you could just see it, just kind of like look around the room. You could just tell everybody was like, like, oh shit, we're all here right now. And we're all ruling so fucking hard. everybody's eyes it's like you don't get many moments in your life where four people are just just fucking kicking ass you know it was awesome and there's no other word to describe it was, aw it was awesome and overwhelming we went upstairs and I haven't thought about it a second since then you know it's just like ah
It doesn't matter if everybody else in the world hates this shit. We love it. And I've seen how much we love it. I've felt that, you know. But if you just get that one moment, everything makes sense. All your baggage is just gone. Anxiety disappeared. Depression out the window. Addiction other side of the room. Here's celebration. That's what we do. You know, we've, we've come to realize that the strength of what we do is when we can really just celebrate through music. It's really been a very powerful experience for me to, to have been part of the writing of this.